y'all happy tuesday so today i'm off i actually just filmed a video and um i'm getting ready to go to the dentist so i figured i had a package that i received last night that i have not opened yet um so i figured i would just go ahead and open it on camera with you guys this will be the first video about these well let me just show you the package all right so here's my box i did purchase this around black friday and i'm just getting it but i'll explain that more when i open it up so a bunch of these things which my kids always get into i gotta throw this box away before they see it but i ordered some stuff from ganache parfums i did mention them in a like fragrance favorites video i guess i should show my face <laughs> i mentioned them in a fragrance favorites video and i said that i had ordered um some more stuff from them so this is the more stuff i did get it around i mean i did order it around black friday and i'm just now getting it so about three weeks um but i'm fine with that um if you did not watch that video ganache parfums is a indie fragrance company they are black owned um, the person I've heard talk about them the most is Lulu, but I honestly haven't really watched those videos because they're long <laughs> and I'm bad about watching long videos, but shout out to Lulu. She goes very in depth. She even has a video talking to the owner. So if you have some time and you want to know more about Ganache Parfums, make sure to check her video out. But let's get into what I ordered. They were having a really good Black Friday sale. I don't remember exactly what the sale was, but, um... I know it's really good, but I feel like they've been having quite a few sales, so make sure you check them out. So, what is this? Oh, so this is one of the fragrances. This is the first one I've ordered from this line, so I can tell the packaging. Like, I've never gotten a pouch with a fragrance from them before, so let's see. This one is Stung, and I forgot the line name of this. Y'all, it's been a minute since I ordered it. <laughs> so I forgot the line name because he has different lines within the brand. But this is one of the newer lines that he's released. So will I spray these? Um, I'm just going to spray them in the top real quick. I don't want to spray them on me because I'm getting ready to go to the dentist and I already have on perfume. But let's see. Hmm. I don't know what this smells like. I feel like it has some musk in it. Maybe honey. Ooh, I think like honey, but more like a raw honey. Okay, this is different. I definitely don't think this will be for everybody. It smells a bit animalic to me, but I do like it. Yeah, I definitely think there must be some honey in this. Maybe that's why it's called stung, but it smells more like raw honey and musk but i do really really like this this is different than what i expected i expected to be more gourmand because that's kind of like the focus of the brand but i really like this so that's exciting so let's move on to the next one now of course these are like literally my first sniffs so don't take don't pay too much attention to that i will be planning on doing a like brand overview um, with the fragrances that I have. This is a really uncomfortable position, so let's move just to so say. I haven't really done my morning cleanup today because I wasn't feeling well. So if you see that big ball back there, it's okay. It's an exercise ball, but Noah likes to bounce on it. So he was doing that this morning. So disregard, and I also have a purse, two purses back there. It's real life people. But anyway, so um, this is the next one. And this one is called 100% Pure Love. Wasn't that a song? 100% Pure Love. From the back to the middle and around again. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I don't remember what any of these are supposed to smell like. Okay, so this one definitely smells chocolate. Like like chocolate, <laughs> like chocolate and maybe like raspberry or a cherry cordial. It smells really good. It is very sweet. This one is a very gourmand. It, it smells like some sort of dripping fruit liqueur and 
chocolate. It reminds me of something else I have in my collection, but more to come on that. I don't want to, I don't want to say that and it not be true. So <laughs> I do really like this one. This one is very sweet though. I definitely feel like I could only wear this during cold weather. Um, next up is this one. Let's see what it is. This one is Leche y Galetas. It's Spanish, I believe. I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry, guys. Um, and I don't know what that means, so. Okay, this one smells like some sort of cookie, like a butter cookie with milk. Not like sour milk or anything, but like a milk, it has a milky or creamy quality to it. So maybe more like cream, like cookies with cream. Hmm, that is really good. Again, super sweet. This one is much more of a literal gourmand, but it smells amazing. These things are gonna make me hungry. I think I should have one more, yeah, one more. And this one is called Warmth. Now, I feel like I got another bottle from this collection that was a different bottle. So I don't know if he changed the packaging. Um, I've never seen these types of bottles from them. So maybe they're in the midst of changing packaging, but that doesn't really matter to me. Okay, this one has like a popcorn note to it right off the bat. Like caramel popcorn a bit of saltiness, a bit of sweetness. Like you're at a carnival. Like I smell like there's like funnel cake in the background. This is really good. Don't think this will be for everybody because I know popcorn can smell a little bit funky to some people and I get that, but I really like this. Super sweet. Okay, so I have four fragrances. I'm excited to play around with those and um, so I can give you guys more information. I just really, I like the pricing on this brand. I like that it's a small business. I like that the fragrances smell really good and last long, at least the ones I've tried. And yeah, I just feel like why not support a small black owned business? and get something I love. And the pricing is not like ridiculous. So yeah, anyway, um, I am going to go ahead and put my jeans on so I can go to the dentist. It's actually cold today, y'all. So I'm gonna go put my jeans and my jacket on, you know. It's 50 degrees, so that's cold for us. Um, but yeah, I'll check in with y'all later. So I'm back home for the dentist and I decided that I am going to clear out my mug cabinet. So I figured I would show y'all my little coffee mug collection. It is a lot, I'll just be honest. <laughs> it's one of the things I collect. Um, I have tumblers and water cups and like coffee mugs in this one cabinet that I'm gonna show y'all. And then I'm going to pull out my Christmas mugs so I can start using those. Um, so I'll show you that. So all my holiday mugs are up at the top. So I'm gonna move like the Christmas ones down and kind of move some of the other ones out or get rid of them. And this is the entire cabinet. So here I go. All right, so I'm all done. Got my holiday cups down. So I put all my holiday like travel mugs here and then I only have one like regular holiday mug. Um, do y'all store y'all mugs upside down or right side up? Question I have. I go back and forth, honestly. Um, I did have this holiday cup up there too, uh, which this is actually a insulated like wine glass. I'm gonna put this with my other wine glasses. And I am getting rid of just 
those three that's it <laughs> so yes y'all have to tell me i know my mug collection is absolutely ridiculous but a lot of those mugs i've had for like five plus years like i buy mugs all the time i mean not all the time but i buy mugs a couple times a year and i just it's something i like to collect they don't cost me much money and the way i do it is if they don't fit in that cabinet then they have to go <laughs> so um i do go through them every couple months or so and give them away give give away the ones that i don't use anymore so yes it's i mean we don't have people over anymore but whenever like my family come visit <laughs> whenever they drink coffee because like everybody in my family drinks coffee so they always like have to not fight over but you know they fight over which mug they want nice fight I mean they just say I want that one I want that one I want that one <laughs> so yes I know I'm lame but here on vlogmas I am sharing all my weird little things with you guys so judge me or judge your mama I mean I don't know all right <laughs> editing time i am editing my video that i filmed earlier today that will go live tomorrow i'm actually behind i was hoping to be able to like on my filming days film like two or three videos but so much stuff has been going on that i really haven't had that chance so i've been filming literally every day <laughs> so i'm hoping i can catch up probably tomorrow good morning y'all happy wednesday Got my water, I'm super thirsty. I started a new diet. So I wasn't gonna tell y'all about it because I feel like a failure pretty much. Um, last year, yeah. Pretty much last year and the year before, or yeah, last year I lost quite a bit of weight and 2020 has not been good for my waistline and I have gained pretty pretty much almost all of it back not quite all of it but it's just very disappointing and so I had kind of stopped telling y'all anything about weight loss because honestly it's embarrassing when you have something that you really want but apparently you don't want it bad enough <laughs> um now I know 2020 has been a year um for everyone and including for myself and one of those ways that I have dealt with it is to eat, uh, which I know is totally unhealthy, but I'm just trying to be 100 with y'all because I know somebody out there is probably feeling the same way, but I have been a person who has been eating my feelings for a while. I had kind of got away from that, but somehow somewhere along the way during 2020, I started doing it again. And I think one of the reasons that this happens for me, I mean, I can't speak for anybody else, but for me, it's one of those things that I always have control over pretty much. So if I want something sweet, like I want a piece of cake, guess what? I can go get a piece of cake. Even if I'm broke, I can still go get a piece of cake. You know what I'm saying? Whereas like a lot of other things in my life, I pretty much don't have much control over. So we're not gonna get too deep y'all. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I've gained a lot of weight. So I was saying all that to say, I started a new diet. I know probably about a month or two ago, I had said that I was not gonna do keto because I have some health concerns. But after my last doctor's visit last week, I am doing keto and um, I have my baseline blood work now. So we'll see where it goes. I have to get blood work every three months anyway for an ongoing condition. Um, but I just feel like my weight gain has been not only detrimental to my self-esteem and my confidence, but it's also been detrimental to like my physical health, obviously, but just things that I'm actually noticing. And I'm guessing because I'm getting older, um, the weight gain to me makes much more of a difference. I've always fluctuated with my weight. I've always had a problem trying to keep weight off, but as I get older, it's definitely harder to keep it off. And I'm seeing other effects because of my weight gain. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, this is me being vulnerable. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's real life though. So anyway, um, I'm sorry. Sit. All right. After that way too long ramble, <laughs> I was going to tell y'all I just got home or not just got home. 
I'm back home now. I dropped the kids off and I had to pick up a couple of things while I was out, took a shower. I wanted to put away the stuff that I have, but I wanted to share it with you guys before I do so I can make myself some breakfast. That was the whole reason <laughs> that I even started talking about this weight loss. I've been off because like off in my head, I feel like because, um, because I'm starting this new diet, I am starting it the way I started it um, when I initially lost all the weight. So to reset, I'm pretty much just doing protein for three days. So yeah, that's what I've been doing and today's my third day and I definitely think I need some more food in my body. So, <laughs> so today's my last day of protein only. Tomorrow I'm doing keto. I'm not here to tell you what diet to do. You need to talk to a nutritionist or whatever um, or your physician or whoever is an expert. I am not. I'm just telling y'all what I'm doing. So that's what I'm doing. It's my third and last day of protein only. And now, and starting tomorrow, I'll be doing keto. So yeah, let me um, show y'all what I picked up though. So I had a drive up order from Target, my favorite place. Um, the main reason for this drive up order was to pick up a gift for Noah. Um, I might as well show y'all, it's not like you don't see it, but we are getting him a t Nintendo Switch Lite for Christmas. And so they had this game two pack for a pretty good price. I think it was, I don't know. I don't want to give y'all the wrong price, but I feel like it was about $20 off buying them separately. So I really wanted to, I'm not going to wrap this yet because we ordered the Switch Lite and my husband and I are going to play it before we actually give it to him just like a few times so we can make sure we're able to help him because he's never played anything like this. So I don't want him to get frustrated with it. So yeah, the game that I picked up is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Super Mario Party. So I think that should be fun for him. We decided to get him a Switch Lite because he likes to do the racing games on his iPad, but I don't feel like some of them are appropriate. Like, of course he could do the things on there, but I feel like they will show like things that I don't necessarily want him seeing, like women scantily clad and all that. And I just feel, and of course, all the ads that pop up. So I just feel like having him a little gaming system that is just for games and nothing else would probably be a better option for him. We're not gonna take away his iPad, but um, we'll have this that we want to be able to transition that this is his mode of electronic entertainment instead of the iPad. So yeah, that's Mario Kart. 8 Deluxe and Super Mario Party. And then, so that was the whole reason for it, but I also had this stuff in the cart that I had been looking at since last week. So I went ahead and uh, picked that up too. But this is from the brand Bodum. This is a cold brew maker, like an at-home cold brew maker. So y'all know I go back and forth on my cold coffee. I will make like iced lattes and stuff on my Keurig. It makes them well, but I like to have something that I can just pour out of the refrigerator, honestly. Um, so from time to time, I will buy the pre-made cold brews, but I feel like whenever I want it, it's like right at the bottom. <laughs> and then I get so disappointed that I've used it all up and didn't realize it, whatever. Anyway, I wanted to buy a cold brew maker. I saw this one, I came across it on Amazon and I was like, let me check out Target. And they had this one for only $12.99 and it makes 12 glasses, which I think, I think, yeah, 12 cups. So I feel like that's a good amount to be able to just keep in my fridge and I can make it at my own discretion. Now this makes it kind of like a French press, I believe. I do have a French press. I don't use it really, but I do still have it. And when I tried to use it before, I what I didn't like about it was that sometimes the grinds would get like within my coffee. And I think that's because I was using like pre-ground uh, coffee, like I bought ground coffee. So I decided to pick up some coffee beans and a grinder. So I picked up, which one? Okay, so this is the Starbucks Veranda Blend Whole Bean. So I picked this up to be able to use for my cold brew. And then I bought this electric grinder um, as well. And this was $20. So together, these were like $32. But when you think about how much money I spend at Starbucks on my nitro cold brews, nitro cold brews are expensive, y'all. They're like almost $5, I think. Yeah, almost $5. 
and it's one of the drinks that I can get that will still be healthy um, because it's like no sugar or anything like that and I don't add anything to it. I just get nitro cold with sweet cream. So it's only like four grams of carbs and like 70 calories. So it's a healthier drink. But honestly, like, that's like the only drink, like, that's my go-to drink for Starbucks. So I don't want to be going there every day, like, because I've pretty much been doing that. I've been spending a lot of money at Starbucks. So I figured that this would be a better investment. My husband agreed. Plus, my husband wants to get into, he says he wants to try to find a coffee that he can drink without any sugar and cream, but... I don't believe him, but <laughs> I told him maybe with us grinding it at home, maybe he will like it better. So anyway, other than that, I also picked up a bag of regular ground coffee, but I, I bought this because it's decaf. I honestly hate spending money on decaf pods because number one, they don't have a ton of variety. And number two, they're a lot more, buying pods like Career Pods is a lot more expensive than buying like coffee like this. Now I love the convenience of Career Pods, don't get me wrong, but I also like having like decaf when I want it. <laughs> this is making no sense. I didn't want to spend the money on pods. Let's just put it like that, okay? So this is Toasted Hazelnut Decaf Coffee from Target. It's the Good and Gather brand. So I think I am going to use this to make a decaf um, I don't know if I can make a latte today, but I may make some decaf coffee with this today. We'll see. So that was it from Target. I also need to stop by Walgreens because I have a FedEx pickup there. So this is my wine delivery for the month. Um, Y'all know I'm part of the Wink Wine Club. I will link them down below. Um, I actually have quite a few free boxes <laughs> to give away from Wink. Um, the way it works though is I can, if you leave your email address, if you want a free box from Wink, leave your email address down below and I'll pick a few people. I'm not sure how many boxes I have left, but the way it works is that they will send you an email or whatever for you to sign up for your free box, but you do have to give them your credit card. So if you just want the free box and you do not want the subscription, you need to cancel it after you get your free box. So I know some people don't like that, but I mean... I didn't make the rules. If you want a free box and you're willing to do that, then uh, just leave me a comment down below and I will get you set up with that. So this month I got four wines, which I think is the standard. Um, so this is, this first one is a Chardonnay and it's called Hashtag TVT. Not really sure why I picked this, but maybe it came up as a suggested for me, but it's like TVT, Throwback Thursday. Um, yeah. So this is my first one, it's a Chardonnay. Next up is this one is called De Classe, and this is a white wine blend, which I think also came up on my recommended list. Now I know I said I'm doing keto, um, but I y'all already had the wine subscription, so I decided to still get it. I will drink wine from time to time, but I'm not gonna do it like within this first two weeks or so. I'm gonna be pretty strict this first two weeks and then we'll go from there um, so I can add in some of the things that I enjoy without going overboard. But um, this next one is Rosa Obscura and this is a red blend. And I'm pretty sure I've had this before and I liked it. And then this last one is called A-Frame. And what kind of wine is this? Grenache, so it's a Grenache wine. I don't think I've ever had a Grenache wine, so this should be interesting. So I'm gonna put these in my little wine room. And then also from Walgreens, I needed some more lotion, so I just picked up some there. Um, this time I'm trying the Nivea cocoa butter in the pump. I usually like the one in the tub, but I saw this one there, so I'm gonna try this one. And they were buy one, get one half off, so this one is the Shea Daily Moisture for dry skin, so I picked up these two. Next thing that I really wanted to show y'all was something I actually saw while I was standing in line waiting for my FedEx package, and these are gingerbread cookie houses. Now, I picked up two of them because my kids are not that great at sharing, and I felt like it would be a problem if no one wanted to decorate it one way, Chloe wanted to decorate it another way, so I just went ahead and picked up two of them. But I figured this may be a new tradition that we can start I know a lot of people do these, but I've never done them with my kids before, except at Noah's school. Um, so I figured we could do this at home, maybe on Christmas Eve. 
and it's already pre-baked and everything's ready to go. So you just really have to put it together and decorate it how you want. So I picked up two of these and I didn't realize it, but they were buy one, get one half off. So all the better. These were $10 each. So for both, it was $15, which I think is a pretty good price. And hopefully something that they, like that we can continue to do year, year after year and they can look forward to every year, hopefully. So that's that. I'm going to cook my breakfast. I'm gonna make some egg whites and maybe some decaf coffee and I'll check back with you with y'all in a minute. I just went ahead and washed this and so I'm getting ready to make my cold brew coffee so I can sit in the fridge overnight. So I figured I might as well turn the camera on so you guys can make it with me. Um, so I have the directions here. <laughs> um, so first I need to grind my beans. So let's do that. Got my beans. Hopefully this is a better angle for you all. So here's my grinder plugged in and I have my coffee beans. And the directions just say to fill it up so I mean, I'm not gonna fill it too far up because I honestly don't know how much I need. <laughs> so I'm just gonna fill it up. I filled it up probably a little bit over halfway. And then put this on. I guess we just press the button. Oh, cool. I don't know how long I'm supposed to grind it for coarsely ground, so I'm just taking this like trial and error. So this is what it looks like inside. Hopefully y'all can see that. There's my coffee in there. I'm gonna stop right there because I don't want it to be too fine. It smells really good. So now let's get the directions for the cold brew maker. So here we are, got my machine or my container, whatever this is called. Where's my directions? All right, so I took out my plunger. I feel like these directions on this cold brew thing is not very clear. It just says to put the coffee in there basically. <laughs> like I wanna know how much. Um. It says, add coarse ground coffee. We recommend to double your usual amount of coffee. Okay, real quick, let me Google how much I should put in here. So I looked up the ratio and it says that it should be three-fourths cups of ground coffee to four cups of cold water. So what I'm going to do is try to do that uh, one at a time and just see how that goes. So here we go. All right, so now I've got my water in here, so I'm going to stir this. This looks kind of gross. And then I'm gonna put my plunger in here. Now you may notice that my plunger already looks dirty and that's because this is my second time doing this today. I mismeasured, <laughs> so yeah, I started over. So here we go. All right, so that's it. Now I just need to put the coffee in the refrigerator. Um, in case you guys are wondering, I ended up doing eight cups of water and um, one and a half cups of coffee. So I'm gonna stick this in the water and let it sit. It says to do it for 12 to 24 hours. I'll probably do it for 24 hours. And then, um, yeah, that'll be it. I'll have to let y'all know in the upcoming 
vlog or video <laughs> how it worked out because i'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog here so i can edit it and have it posted for you guys tomorrow and clean up all my little coffee mess here so i'll see y'all in my next video bye